Well, all week we teach them about the different types of engineers, and it's very important to teach them what engineers do. Um, this particular module is on civil engineering. So I'm a civil engineering faculty member here. So we're teaching them what a civil engineer does. And we do that in two different ways. The first part of it was an introduction to civil engineers. And we, we've had some discussions with them and just some very hands-on activity to teach them. And now what they're doing right now is they're going to build a straw tower. And we're going to teach them about earthquake engineering. So they're going to build the highest tower they can. We're going to load it up on a shake table and subject it to an earthquake. And we're going to put people on it and weights. And we're going to see whose tower can be the highest and withstand the earthquake. So it's a really good example to show them what civil engineers do. Definitely. And how, is, how important is it to do hands-on things, I guess, compared to just being in and just being in a week on camp where they learn things, but they're, they're really doing things that are right. they're going to be doing in the field. I Everybody guess. knows just sitting there listening to presentations all day is boring, right? And that's just not what engineering is. Engineering is very much a hands-on profession. You need to be creative, and people don't think that about engineers, but you really need to come up with unique and innovative solutions because we solve very challenging problems. And the only way to do that is to really get the hands-on experience, and it's just a lot more exciting. You go home and you're like, wow, I built this today, and you have something to show for it, and it just shows you how exciting engineering is as a, as a profession.